Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free WordPress image and video slider. The name of the plugin is Soliloquy. This plugin has free as well as the premium version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the premium version of the plugin and I'll show you how you can create image slider using this plugin. This is basically only image and video slider. If you're looking for layer slider where you can put some text and other layers on the images, then you can go for other sliders. For example, Slider Revolution or Smart Slider 3, these plugins are layer sliders where you can put layers on the images and videos. I have already published videos on how to create slider using Elementor. I have also published video on how to use Smart Slider 3. This is one of the best sliders for the WordPress website. This slider also has free and the premium plugin. You can also watch the video on Slider Revolution plugin. I have shown you how to use and create sliders using the Slider Revolution plugin. This is not a free plugin. This is only a paid plugin. This is one of the best sliders that you can use on your WordPress website. It has 250 plus templates that you can use to create any kind of slider. I have also published a video on how to use master slider plugin. This is also a slider plugin that you can use. Then I have created a video on how to use a depictor slider. This plugin also has free as well as premium version. You will get 240 plus free templates. The free version of this plugin has many features as compared to other free plugins. Plugins. Then I have published video on Meta Slider. This plugin also has free as well as premium plugin. If you want to watch all these videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. You can watch these videos and compare these plugins with this Solilo Q plugin. And if you like Solilo Q plugin, you can start building your sliders using this plugin. So in this video, we are going to work on Solilo Q plugin and we will see how you can create slider using this plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. We will start with the free plugin here. Search for Solilo Qui. And you will see that this plugin has been installed on more than 40,000 WordPress websites. So click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left hand panel, you will see the option Solilo Qui. Click on it. And it says there is no slider. So we need to create a new one. So click on add new. And let's name it as a demo one. So this is the name of the slider. Now this is going to be a native slider or external slider. If you click on external slider, you will see an option to create slider using featured content, Instagram and WooCommerce. However, to use this, you need a pro plugin. So I'm going to click on native slider. In case of native slider, you can upload images from your computer. So if you have images on your computer, you can click on it and browse the images. If you have already uploaded the images in your WordPress website, you can click on select files from other sources and you will see media library here. You can also upload it from here. So I'm going to select some images from the media library. Let's select some images. Selected four images. And let's click on insert into post. So these four images will be used. Below that you will see configuration. Now we are going to configure the slider. And for that we have slider theme. Currently we have only two options, base and classic. Then we have slider dimension, 960 by 300. It shows the dimension. I'm going to change it to 960 by 500. Slider transition will be filled. In free version, there are limitations. You can use limited options only. So we have only one option here, fade. Slider transition duration will be 500 milliseconds. That is nothing but five seconds. So I'm going to change it to 300 milliseconds. Slider transition speed will be 400 ms millisecond. Slider gutter will be 20 pixel. Crop images in slider. Currently it is enabled. We will see how does this look on the actual slider. ARIA life value is polite off or assertive. Currently it is set to polite, so I'm going to keep it as it is. And the other configuration options will be only for the pro plugin. Next to that we have mobile that is not available in the free version. Thumbnails, carousal, Pinterest, Lightbox, schedule and miscellaneous. All the other options are available only for the pro plugin. So we won't be able to make any other changes here. So I'm going to click on publish and let's see how does this look on the actual page. So it is published and you will see a short code that you can use to show this slider on your WordPress website. 
right so i'm going to copy this short code let's go to pages i have one sample page here click on all pages and go to sample page i have one sample page where i'm going to install this slider on this website i'm using elementor page builder and i'm going to use the elementor short code widget if you have any other block editor or page builder you need to select the short code to show this slider so i'm going to click on plus sign and search for short code drag it and drop it here and enter the short code and click on update all right now let's view the page and this is how it looks this is the slider now currently it is cropping the images you will see the cropped images into that particular size that we have set here under configuration 960 into 500 right now i'm going to uncheck this option and update it let's go back and refresh it so now it is not going to crop the image it will show the original size of the image so this is a pretty basic image slider that you can create using the free plugin so as i said earlier there are different plugins if you want to create more advanced slider using the free plugins only you can go for these other options meta slider you can also go for depictor slider this free depictor plugin has many advanced feature master slider or you can go with the smart slider 3 with the layer options so let's go back and let's go back to the configuration we do not have any other option here so now i'm going to install a pro version of this plugin i have the pro version of the plugin so i'm going to upload the plugin and this is the pro plugin now let me show you the pricing of this plugin i'm on the website and you will see the pricing for this plugin if you want it for only one side the pricing will be 19 dollars and 50 cents per year and for three sites it will cost you 49 dollars and 50 cents if i go to all features you will see comparison of all the features and you will see css add-on so all these add-ons are available now if you want different add-ons then you will need to go for the upgraded version if you want instagram add-on then you need to go for this version multi-site pinterest add-on protection add-on schedule add-on slider theme add-on so these options are not available in the personal plan you need to go for the upgraded plan so in order to use these features you need to go for add-ons so you need to buy these add-ons all right so the plugin is installed the pro plugin is installed click on activate plugin all right and uh, let's go to solilo q solilo q and this is the plugin if i go to edit the same slider now um, you will see different options here let's go to configuration and if i go to theme still we have two themes only image size now there is a change here you can select different image sizes i'm going to select full width dimension you can set the dimensions crop slider we have disabled that option use adaptive height so it allows the slider to adapt smoothly to slides with different sizes so we have slides with different sizes here and it is going to adapt the height slider position now we have this new option here center left or right carousal caption position you can add captions also show slider arrows control navigation show pause and play controls i'm going to check this option enable keyboard navigation enable mouse wheel navigation so you will see all these additional controls or the settings are added when we install the pro version of this plugin all right i'm going to update this one now let's go to select files and now you will see an option here to insert the video slide so in the pro version you will get an option to insert the video slide let's click on it and it is asking you to enter the title the video url and the image url so i'm going to add one video in this slide let's add a title here depictor plugin tutorial this is a slider plugin and i have video tutorial so i'm going to add that one here this is the link of the video tutorial if you want to add caption you can add caption or odd text all right so this is the youtube video url that i have added and click on insert into slider if i go to sliders you will see this slider is added so the video is added in the slider now let's leave it as it is and click on update 
go to sample page and let's refresh it we have made some changes here now this is the height you will see play and pause option here and the height is going to be adaptive you will see navigation buttons here and at the end you will see this video slide so if i click on it it will start playing the video right so this is an image and video slider all right let's go back and i'm going to add one add-on here i have one add-on so i'm going to install that add-on click on add new plugin upload it and this is the add-on themes add-on so i'm going to use a soliloquy themes add-on click on install now click on activate all right let's go to soliloquy go to this demo slider and we have added theme option so let's click on configuration and here in the drop down you will see different themes are available so i'm going to select this one click on update let's go to sample page and let's refresh it right so i do not see any option here so there may be some slight changes in the theme here i see this dot here right now it does not show the dots properly let's go back and try another theme let's try karma update it refresh it right so you will see the change in the position here you will see the navigation at the top this is the play and pause all right so there are some slight changes in the theme all right so if you want to create a simple image slider then you can go with the free version of this solilo q plugin if you want more advanced slider using free plugin you can watch these videos i'll give you the links in the description box you can compare all these videos and then decide whether you want to install the solilo q plugin or you can go with the other slider plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.